Howdy there. The aim for this year, over summer, is to um, take a Sam Stag, in particular with this um, old lever gun. It's a Winchester Model 94, 375 Winchester. That's the cartridge. It's, um, I was told a few years ago on AHN forum that um, they were pretty useless for Samba and wouldn't really waste me time with it. But um, I was young. Didn't have much idea, didn't really want a 4570 because the cases looked way too big. So looking at ammo before I brought a rifle, I um, looked at triple four Marlin as well. And then um, the 3030, which for me was a little bit too common. Next one up was the blown out 3030 case, which is 375 Winchester. That happens to be this thing. And I've still got it and um, I'm now reloading with some um, Hawksby River cast bullets, 245 grainers, and it's um, acting pretty much like 3855 at about 1850 feet per second, which is bloody plenty if you just um, sit and wait hunting or um, walking them up, stalking. Got the old um, Williams peep sight on it. Um, accuracy went up through the roof compared to just using the open buck horns. And um, being a top ejector, can't really scope it, so that puts this out of the, out of the question for scope. But I um, may look at a 30-30 just to put a scope on a lever gun. Because there is just something about toting an um, old Winchester, especially after deer. 30-30 would be nice just um, for the nostalgic side of things. It's probably killed the most animals around the world. And um, for Samba, they're not bulletproof, so 30-30's got plenty of punch for 100 metres especially. 150, no, no dramas. Anyway, stay tuned over the next um, few months. I'll put up another couple of sections to this. Um, the aim will be to try and get some deer on camera and then whale one with this thing and see how that performs. So um, while it's not raining today, I'll cut to the chase and get back down to the ute and see how we go. Stay tuned anyway. This happens to be the um, ammo for the 375. It's basically just a straight walled 3030. A little bit more beefed up, a bit more pressure. Heavier slug, going slow. Generally get two holes in the deer or break both shoulders and they won't go far. So let's just see what happens. All right, what we're gonna do is just um, walk probably 10 minutes in the bush just to up to a while I know of. Just while it's wet, I'm already wet. Did that deer hide before. So, um, kill a bit of time up in here. Got the rifle with me because you never know what you'll run into. You wouldn't expect to see deer there, but it's just good to um, take caution going in. Be 
road to get me um, Texas bloody pinstripe up on the friggin' rig, eh? Jeez. Come on then here, you nice new truck. She only get Texas pinstripe on it. But eh, hey, might be a bloody 28 inch in here too. Wear a few pinstripes is pride. game trail through here and some prints in this um, rotted out tree game trail through there I can see the back wall that wall that's where they want to go and I think that's where they'll that's where they'll be coming from and here I'll be up out of the way so I'm gonna get up in there and make something Well, I'm on a pretty good game track. Oh, it's a 30 meter shot, bang, catch you later. What I am aiming to do is get a vision of this far face because I know they walk out from the bottom along the bottom mostly hinds and calves and what I also know is that there's a lot of beds up in that section and no doubt there when the wind is different so in saying that no doubt there's beds up in here hence why the game trails are coming up out of here and it's pretty much a strictly summertime gig where you're here for the last hour, hour and a half of light and you'll be able to walk back straight down a flat valley to the vehicle under head torch. Sorry dears, but there's um, shit to be done and these won't be feeding here tonight. You'll have to bugger off to another valley tonight and Feed it next time. Bit of a clearer path there now. I can see it pretty well. Over here is pretty good as it is. Down there, well, they're nearly getting away. 
So those bits I just cut down, I just put um, along there and another one up there. So really, got a pretty good um, hiding spot with a bit of flat ground behind it, flattish ground. Bit hard to tell, but that will cover me pretty well so far. I need a shovel here actually, and I could just cut a bit of that away, but I think my chair will fit. Where that chainsaw is pretty spot on. Gun leaning up there. Just looking. Waiting. Pretty basic. But it is what it is. And that actually took me like half an hour. <laughs> like I plan to sit the gun on some of those posts through there and just bloody shoot off it. The idea is that the deer's just going to be slowly cruising down the gully anyway, feeding, and you're just going to um, pick a spot through one of the trees. Boom. So much blackberry that for them to be feeding on. And there's all pretty sweet through all that. And then this other back gully, well, there's a few spots in here to bloody wait for him to come out of. And this is all probably just on right on 100 metres. Last one before I go, while well, this freaking rain's hammering me. That one on an angle up there, I'd be just sort of sitting in behind that. Still hunting. Beat sitting up a tree, but it's the same shit. Had to come back and put a few more improvements to it, it just wasn't quite enough. So, uh, just wish what was already cut down, just um, throwing it back on around it, make a bit more of a structure. Then it'll be a basic deer hide. Just gotta bring the chair up here and flatten it out. Just that little bit there. I'm laughing. <laughs>